Hello and welcome to this How Tech video tutorial. In this video, we're going to show you how to solve an equation in Excel 2016. So here we have our equation, and this isn't required or important or anything to the example. It's just to show you in a little more visual form exactly what our equation is. So here it is in formula form. And here is our variable, which will be B1 in this example. So we just have that all typed out there. And what we want to do is we want f of x to equal a certain constant value. However, if we type it in there, you'll see that that's our actual variable and we're putting in a variable for that, a constant for that. And we do not want that. We want the actual function to equal a certain value and keep our x as a variable. So if we solve this by quadratic formula completing the square or so, we should be able to get these two different roots. And that's one of the drawbacks you'll see with the method we're going to use. So just keep that in mind. First we'll customize the ribbon, go to add-ins, and we want the solver add-in. So we'll just go to Excel add-ins, check that box, hit OK. And now, not much has happened, but we'll go over the data tab and we see that we have the solver here, which is what we're going to use. So I've already typed in these before in an earlier test run of this example. So just go ahead and make sure your objective is that cell. And your variable cell is of course the variable cell that you're going to be using. And after that, if you have any other specific things you want to change depending on your equation, you can go ahead and change that. But for our example here, we want to make sure the value of is zero. And then we can just go ahead and hit OK if everything looks right there. So we're not going for a max or min, we're just going to a value of zero, f of x equals zero. And those are the two roots we should get. However, you can see that we've only gotten one root for our example, and that is the 1.13. There should be another root there, but there isn't. So that's one of the drawbacks of the solver. There doesn't seem to be a way to get that, but you have other reports you can grab. And if you wanted to, you could go ahead and get the other root in a different manner. But that's how you use the solver, just to introduce you to it and make sure you know that it's actually there. This has been a How Tech Video tutorial. Please like, subscribe, comment, and thank you for watching.